Da -da -da. Here we are, Jasper Active Excel Lesson 4, using Format Painter. Let's get on it. And here we go. It says, uh, format the invoice section first. So select cells B17 to B20. B17 to B20. And... In the home tab, number group, dialog box launcher, change it to number, and then uh, under category, necessary change the decimal places to two, it's already there, and check the comma separator to turn that on. Once we have that done, uh, say okay, change the font to Arial. There we go. Next. Mr. Jez, what was the video that you said you couldn't get right? Uh, hey, um, I'm recording a video. You're muted. <laughs> I'm recording a video it's right now. Video. Uh, it was 3.7. Oh, it's okay. All right, thanks. <laughs> yep, thank you. <clears throat> Back to the video I'm recording. Here we go. It says, and I even lost a place where I was reading. Uh, Current, okay, select B17. There we go. B17, with that selected, change it to currency. And then, uh, with B17 still selected, click the format painter once. So next thing we click on, we'll apply the same formatting and select cell B20. Notice it applied the currency formatting to it right there. Now uh, we're going to add a border to the bottom number. So with B20 selected, go up here to borders and you are going to select top and double bottom. So top and double bottom border right there like so. Um, now select cell A3 and with cell A3 selected, you're going to change the font to Times New Roman. I can hit the letter T just to jump down a little quicker so I don't have to scroll so much. And Times New Roman right there. Once we have Times New Roman selected, now we are going to select bold and then double click the format painter and select A5 to A6. Select a8 to A10, A12 to A14, C13 to C14, A17 to A20. I feel like I'm missing one. A12 to A14. There we go. What? Hmm, that seems wrong. All right, so let me look closer. C5, yep, A8 to A10, got that. C9 to C10, there we go, I missed that one. A12 to A14, C13 to C14, and A17 to A20. Uh-oh. Control Z. That was too much. Let me go back here. I'm just going to single click Format Painter and do that. There we go. So it should look like that now where all the titles are bolded, Times New Roman. And there we go. So turn off the Format Painter. We've got that done. Next. Now, increase the font size of the two cells containing text labels. So, select cell A8. On the Home tab, change the font size to 14. And Format Painter, A12. So pick up and drop off are now a 14-point font. 
um, select cell B3, change the font to Arial, and do we bold it? No, B3 is still selected, double click Format Painter. Okay, so we'll double click Format Painter and apply it B5 to B6. And D5, B9, D9, B13, and D13. Notice we didn't do the dates or times. Okay, and now click the Format Painter again to turn it off. So it says you could not use the Format Painter in cells containing text. Uh, like the dates and times because those already have some different formatting. Uh, so what we need to do is select B10, this date one, and now uh, change it to Arial. And use the Format Painter to copy that to B14. Now select cell D10, change it to Arial, Format Painter, and apply that to D14. And that is what it should look like. And I think mine looks like theirs when I compare the pictures. So I'm going to submit it and hopefully get it. 100%. There we go. Woohoo!